first one I want to do would, um, Tayshawn, would you please go up and read the plan? The plan says to the plan says students will be given the opportunity to find their vocabulary words, discuss examples in the reading, and write examples in their vocabulary notebook and discuss the reading. Okay, good. And Madison? After the lesson is finished, we will take a quiz to determine that we have learned our vocab and can identify its use in our reading passage by scoring at least an 80 on our quiz. Kayla, would you go up and read the study, please? We will analyze the quiz results to see where students need help in creating their vocabulary notebook and lit circles. And Presley, would you do the last one? Students who failed to make an ID on the close reading quiz are to work on filling in multiple examples in their vocabulary notebook using the four texts that were taught in class. Students who score an 80 or above are allowed to work at a zero voice level on anything they choose. Okay, good. So today is the last day for that plan do study act. But we, Ms. Lindsay and I, we took the, you all took the quiz on Thursday. Right, the lit circle, the analyzing the quiz. We took it on Thursday, we checked it, and this class, fourth period, is the only class see what all the other periods got. I think one got 30, 73%, 175%, one is 76%, and our class was right at 80%. So that's great. So you guys need to, yeah, give me a woo-woo. Some of them, I'll just read some of them. Being able to find examples of a vocabulary in our lit circle groups. These are things that, you know, you all like. Working together through our journals to find examples. Having a choice in what we do in the class. Developing relationships with the people in our groups. Discussing the excerpts with the entire class. Uh, then they, most everybody loved the group work, sharing ideas with each other, and analyzing the excerpts with your groups. So good job. Good, good job, job, guys. Those were very, very good classes, too. I mean, some of them was the developing relationships with the people in our group. That was one that Ms. Clark and I, when we read that, we took a pause because that, that is what we want in here. You all to develop those relationships and be able to work together, and then you'll reach your goals and succeed. So that's all good. Okay. We'll give you another few seconds to find it. Okay. choice of words that help create an emotion, emotion slash feeling in the audience or reader. Okay, good. Good. You may have to move over to the center of the room again. So now, once again, for details, this is what you need to write. Facts revealed by the author or speaker that support food slash tone in a piece of work.
Okay, I think everyone's finished. So now, in your LTF, if you'll turn to the diction, and I believe diction is right underneath details, your LTF. Okay, let's get on here. would you read the definition in our LTF, please? Right underneath details. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, now turn to your vocabulary notebook, other diction. Pick up diction, and I want you to write this definition. In their audience. Okay, I'll read it one more time. The words, the author, or speaker. a certain effect in their audience. Very nicely done. Um, guys, you know how I was talking about the, Miss um, Clark talked about the pluses, and I talked about that developing relationships with the people in our group. You know, would you think that a girl wrote that? Or a boy wrote that? You'd think a girl did, but you know what a guy in our class wrote that. And that, you know, that was one of those things. Not that it pales any of your pluses that you wrote, but these are the pluses from the class. And if you look, there are eight pluses and only two deltas. And the neat thing about the deltas is I kind of look at those as pluses too because you want more time to read. You want more time to work in your group. And so to me, you all are doing things that work. Again, don't forget, you're the only class who reached your goal. You reached that 80% mark, and everybody else fell short. So in this class, with all those pluses, for you all, you're doing something right. What's working in this class is going really well, okay? Now, that PDSA is finished. Now it's time for the new PDSA, okay? Which we will begin the summative assessment for this PDSA on Thursday, okay? Remember, that's when you'll start presenting your projects. So we wanna make sure, and we wanna get that PDSA up, okay? So I'm taking down this plan, because this is what Ms. Clark and I want you to be able to do. Abby's got this week's plan. She's gonna read it, and then she's gonna come put it on the plan board. Abby, do you mind standing up and reading that to the class, please? Students will be given the opportunity to define their vocabulary words, discuss examples in the reading, write examples in their vocabulary notebook, analyze the reading, and work on their presentation. Nice. That, that, that's what we've been working on, okay? And now you're really getting to the heart of your presentation. But all that stuff, all those things in the plan go into your presentation, which is really cool, okay? Thank you, Abby. All right, so that's our plan. I'm going to take down the do, okay? 
this is what Miss Clark and I are going to do after you all are finished with your presentations, okay? You're going to start presenting Thursday. We continue with your presentations till everybody presents. If that takes Thursday and Friday, that's fine. If it takes Thursday, Friday, Monday, that's fine. A person asked me um, in the second period, how long does it need to be? They said, with all this stuff, Miss Lindsay, it's going to be at least 20 or 30 minutes. And then if people have questions or we need to repeat something, it could take 40 minutes. And you know what I said? There are seven groups in second period. I said, that's fine. If it takes you 40 minutes, that's fine. I said, because you're the teacher presenting your book and you're teaching lots of lessons. So, you know, don't worry about the time. I'm not worried about the time. I'm not worried about the time. However long it takes you, that is fine. So after you're finished, whether it's Friday or Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday of next week, that's when Ms. Clark and I are going to look at everything that you did. Okay? Cody, you have the do? Awesome. Cody's going to stand up and he's going to read the do. What Ms. Clark and I are going to do after you finish presenting. Go for it, Cody. At the end of the unit, we will present our projects to determine that we have learned over our vocabulary can exemplify and analyze them in our presentations by scoring at least an 80% on our rubric. Nice. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. And then Ms. Clark and I are going to look at those rubrics and how you scored on those. Okay. Thank you so much. So you're going to present. You're going to present all your information. <coughs> Thank you, Cody. And then we're going to look at those rubrics. Now, Ms. Clark and I are going to study the rubrics that we scored because we're not just going to circle something on that rubric that I gave to the most responsible person in your group that you're basing your whole presentation on. We're not just going to score. We're not just going to circle a one, two, three, or four. We're going to write down why we give you what we give you in that certain area. And then she and I are going to look at that and study it and say, okay, how do we do? Did we score at least an 80 on our presentation? Did you all do these things? If you totally forgot a whole area of the rubric, we need to go back. You'll need to work on that, and then you're going to present that again because a zero is a non-option in this presentation. You've got to have all those things done, okay? So plan, do, we've got that. Now, this is what Ms. Clark and I are going to do, how we're going to study your results. And I can't remember who's got the study. Is it, Are you the act, Nadlin? Okay, Carl, you're the study, aren't you? Okay, this is what Miss Clark and I are, are going to do. Will you stand up and read that for us, please? For the study, we will analyze the presentation grades and rubric to see where students need help in their readings, reading skills and analysis. Good, Carl. Will you go put that up here? Come with me. I'll take away the study. Thank you. From the looks of some of some of you all are pretty far along on your projects, and they are looking really really good. I know Chris's group, I saw your eyes, and it's really looking good. Yeah, I mean, this I can't wait. This group here is really looking good. I, I don't think I've seen any of the others, but I've seen two groups, and so far they're looking really good. Yeah, and I, we can't wait for y'all to present. We can't wait to study and see how well you did. You all are always above. You're always above or right at the benchmark that we set for you. Okay? That makes us excited to study the results of your presentations. It's not that we're nervous you're not going to do it because we watch you work, we see you discuss, we listen to you analyze, we listen to you plan. We're excited to watch you present and score you and look at those results. Okay? And then the last thing is the act. Just in case, just in case somebody doesn't reach that goal of 80%, we're going to tell you what we're going to do with the act. But then, if we all again, just like today, reach that goal as a class, we're going to tell you what we're going to do, how we're going to act on it. Okay? Madeline, will you please stand up and read the act for these presentations? Groups who fail to make an 80% on the project's last presentation are to work on filling in multiple examples in their vocabulary notebook using the liter literature circle text to reteach themselves in order to raise their project's last presentation grade. Students who scored an 80% or above will celebrate their wonderful work on the and move on to the next unit. Nicely done. Okay, now I'm putting it up there on the act. Okay, so if you score an 80 or above, we're going to celebrate. Did we celebrate today? Yeah. We celebrate today. We celebrated today with a 50-point quiz. Imagine what the celebration is going to be 
for a 200 point project and presentation. Imagine that. So yeah, I saw some iPhones go, oh, I wonder what that's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you make a 200 out of 200. Imagine that celebration. I even got a little cold chill going on. Okay? All right. Now, I know you're doing super well, but guess what? Second and third period, you should have seen the work that was accomplished today in their class. And guess what? I know you all can do that and be right at their level, but you know what else? You all can be far above. There are two things I want to tell you before you continue to work on your presentations, okay? And, and you can do this however you want, but I wanted to give you a couple of numbers here because it talks about your vocabulary and things like that, and I wanted to give you two numbers before you go to your project presentation. How you teach this to the class during your project presentation is up to your group, okay? But you know the vocab visionary, they're the person that as they read, they would underline those words that they weren't sure of what they meant or they thought that might, those words might help raise your all's reading scores because next week on Friday, when we take our test, an AR test is 100 point extra test grade over our book we read, we're also gonna take the star reader again. Guess what next Friday's that day where you can see if you can achieve that goal that you have set because see, for your class, you said, here's your mission for next Friday when we take the Star Reader. 100% of all students in our class will have a semester average of at least an 85. That's at the end of the year. And you're going to raise your Star Reader scores by at least 10 points by the end of the semester. Guess what? If each of you raise them at least five points next Friday, you just got five more to go when we take them again at the end of December before we're out for Christmas break. Okay? And here's how we're going to help each other. When I talked to the second and third period about this, they, they understood. Okay? The vocab visionary. You are to teach 10 new words to your class. What do you think will happen when you are doing your skit and all of a sudden you use one of those new words like stallion? That's one of third period's words. They're using stallion because not everyone knows the difference between a stallion, a filly, a colt. A mayor, they're all different things. So they're actually going to teach them things. Well, let's say you have an excerpt from the black stallion on your star reader, and now you know what a stallion is. And you're reading that excerpt. Why are they teaching you stallion? What's the point in telling you what a stallion is and defining that for you? What's that going to do for you, Kayla? It's a wild horse. That's right. They're going to explain to you that it's a wild horse because in their book, it is a wild horse. And so this stallion, when you start reading the black stallion, you realize it's this wild horse. And the more you read and it talks about the stallion, the more you're going to understand. So the vocab visionary and the whole group, however you want to do it, again, you teach those 10 new words. You make sure your class knows them. They're going to be making notes in the back box. They're going to put those words. You're going to take time. You're going to make sure they know exactly what they mean and how to spell them. And boom. Check off vocab. And then for the vocab notebook person or the literary luminary, you're going to teach five examples, five different vocab notebook examples. Somebody in third period, when we taught tone and mood yesterday that go together, and then details and diction, with, which both talk about tone and mood, that person went, four words. So easy. Here's this. Here's this. It makes good sense. They already have their four to teach. They put them into the teaching. They just need one more. However you want to do it. If you want to do your presentation and then teach the ten words and then teach the five, that's fine. Most of the other groups are teaching them in the context of their presentation where it will help you all know and understand those words much better. Okay? So don't forget you need 10 of these for a four in that section of your rubric and five of these, 10 new words, five vocab notebook examples for them to then turn in their vocab notebook under diction and write an example from your book in there with a page number and a direct quote, okay? All right. If you need anything, please ask Ms. Clark or me. 
It is your time to work. Raise your hand if you need us. We're good to go. Do whatever you need to do. I don't work on the PowerPoint. I don't have a Okay. Okay, so, oh, I have a problem. Someone broke my watch. Wait, 